guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a quick haul video. I'm hoping it's quick. I spent a lot of money on this haul. Um, like a lot of money. But that's okay, right? Because I'm gonna use it all. So the first thing that I got was in the mail today. I made an order on Makeup Geek and I got a new Z palette. I don't my nails are like half done. Um, and my new colors that I got are this one called Mermaid, Peach Smoothie, Cupcake, Mango Tango, and Razzle Dazzle. So I'm excited to try it out. I actually used Mermaid today on this look, which is another tutorial that I filmed today, so I'm going to be putting that up. Um, the next item on the list is something that I've been wanting to pick up for a while, but I heard mixed reviews about it, so I went ahead and got the Kat Von D, the Tattoo Locket Foundation, and I'm really upset because I love Kat Von D, I love her products. Um, but her foundation gave me a huge rash on the side of my face, so I had to return it and I was really sad. So then the girl at Sephora recommended me the Makeup Forever. I've been using it for a few days now. I like it. Works well. Next two things on my list are from shoppers. I went in the other day just after I got back from the city as if I hadn't spent enough money already. And I swear the girl knows me there. Because every time I walk in, she smiles at me and says hi, like she knows me, and then she's like, want to see what we got new today? Yeah. So, you've probably seen these before. They're the metallic um, foils from Stila. They came out with a few new colors, so I had to pick some up. So this one is metallic jade. I'm also wearing that today. And then this one is metallic lavender. So I'm really excited to try those out nice and sparkly. Next is um, MAC and I don't know I have a few MAC things I'm not really a huge fan blush wise like I kind of have you know Tarte and Hourglass are kind of my thing but I decided to give MAC a try and I need something kind of for every day that wasn't too pink wasn't too mauve you know stuff like that so she recommended to me Melba and I'm also wearing that today. And it's actually really nice. It's a nice basic color that will kind of go with everything. On my way out of Sephora, they always have all those little gifts and stuff that you can get on the side. Um, and I love By Beauty. Love By Beauty. Their lipsticks are phenomenal. Like, they stay on so well. They're really good for you. Um, well, not good. You know. They're vegan and all that stuff. So this one is a lovely double-ended one. So I'll swatch these for you. Oh, damn it. Okay, got them mixed up. All right, so the purple one here, that well, it kind of looks pink, don't it? Well, anyways, that was called Violet. Then there's a brighter pink. There's a thunderstorm starting. And that one is called Palomino. Interesting name for pink. Next on the list is um, a super spot remover by Origin. This bad boy was like 18 bucks. But it looks like it should last a while. It's just a little bottle of gel. And it's just a super spot remover. I don't have a whole lot of breakouts. But when I do, like I just kind of like to clean them up as fast as I can because I don't wear super heavy foundations so it's kind of nice to clean them up as fast as I can so I don't have to goop a bunch of product on them and make it even worse. Alrighty. So, and of course once Jaclyn Hill told us that this was out I called the Sephora in Calgary, told them I was going to be there on the weekend and asked them to put it aside. I have this one in Moonstone and I absolutely love it, but I picked up the new highlighter 
look at that so pretty and this is the rose gold one and I've been using it for a few days now and it's just gorgeous I you guys don't know me yet but you will um, I'm obsessed with rose gold like really obsessed if my car could be rose gold I'd be one happy girl alright so I also picked up the next type item is the new Naked 2 Basics. I have the first one and I really like it. I use it a lot to the point where I'm hitting pan a little bit on some of the few colors. So this one is really nice because it's more kind of a mauve cool toned. So kind of shake it up a little bit. I was kind of thinking of doing something with this and the metallic lavender look. So if you guys want to see it, let me know. Comment below. Also got one of the benefits, their real makeup remover. Just the mini, this was like the hundred dollar the hundred dollar gift thing. Yeah. I can't talk today. Plus I had coffee, so I'm a little all over the place. I apologize. I love Josie Marin. I have so many of her facial products and her facial products are actually the ones that cleared up my skin. I had really bad, bad acne for a long time and my skin just hated everything. So once I started using the Josie Marin cleansing oils and stuff like that, my skin just loved it. So I've been wanting this for a while, wasn't sure if I needed it, but then I saw Nicole Guerrero and, or Guerrera, how do you say her last name? And she is... I think the product she uses is the Cynthia Rothschild. I could be butchering that, but I'm fairly sure what that that's what it is. Um, so Josie Marin kind of has the same thing. It's a cleansing oil that's in a jar, and it's just kind of solidified. You scoop it, rub it all over your face, and then you take this muslin muslin cloth. Bring it out, um, water it, bring it out, and then one side is for exfoliating, scrubbing, and then the other side is for washing it off. And you just wash it out, all the makeup comes out, and there you go, you have a clean cloth again. And apparently it takes off all the makeup, so I'm really excited to try that. I've been kind of holding it in my bag here, so I haven't used it, waiting to show you guys. I also picked up um, the Urban Decay Perversion. I had a little tester of it, and I absolutely loved it. So I wanted the big one, and to my lucky surprise, it comes with the, another tube inside and a sub -subver subversion, and it's the lash primer, and it's actually a decent size, like it's almost the size of the mascara tube, so that's kind of nice. Of course, I had to stock up on my Glam Glow. This mask is seriously like the bomb, the realness, the shit, awesome. It's awesome. Um, unfortunately, my boyfriend has discovered how awesome it is too, and he uses it. So we go through it way faster than a normal person would, and it's expensive. It's like $70 Canadian, so for me to replace it, it's not fun. Da -da. Okay, so that's all for Sephora and makeup. Um, my friend, my best friend is from Greece, and whenever she goes, she always brings me back stuff. And it was my birthday last month, so of course she got me some stuff. She got me a really beautiful necklace, and then she got me some kind of beauty products, which is really cool because they're all Greek. The first item she got me is by Epavita. I don't know if you can see that. And it's just a lip balm. It has pomegranate, beeswax, and olive oil. It's really, really nice. It smells delicious. It's kind of pink, but when you have it on, you don't see it, which is kind of weird considering how red it is. Next is something that I never thought I would like the smell of, but the more I'm wearing it, the more I'm loving it, and it's so pretty. I don't know if you can see 
it's kind of pearly. It's not like an, oh my God, I'm a stripper glitter when you put it on. It's just a super nice, healthy glow. It smells almost like, not that I can smell a whole lot. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm sick and I have a cold. Sad panda. But it's kind of like clean, like fresh laundry, like cotton. Smells really yummy. Then she got me three, I think they're masks and face washes. She just got them like in little packets <laughs> and she's so cute because she had to write the directions in English on the back for me because they're in Greek. So I'm going to try these out. Let me know if you guys want me to review them. She said that they're the greatest facial products that she's ever used and I mean, come on, have you seen Greek women? Like they're 50 or 60 and look 20 or 30 like they're gorgeous and they have great skin even though they're out in the sun all the time they have some secrets over there that they need to tell us so i believe that's all i have for my haul so my first haul video yay i'm so excited so let me know if you guys want me to review anything do any um tutorials or anything like that oh i guess i have something new too this little lovely table back here my boyfriend just put together for me last night. It's my new makeup table. I need a new makeup table. My other one is really small. But I'm really sad to be switching it up because my mom made me my makeup table. And she kind of put a collage of everything from when I was 16. Like, I think it's M15 or M16 or something. Like, those teen magazines. She cut up all these things from there, like who the hottest artists were then, and you know, all the new things that came out. She collaged them all on the top. So it's really funky and cool, and it's kind of sad to be getting rid of it. It'll probably hang out and live in my basement, but I needed a new makeup table because my other one is getting too crowded. As you will see, because I will post a video on my Instagram, or a picture on my Instagram. So stay posted. Um, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and please subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see. Um, and that's everything. Thanks, guys. Bye.